benefits like making your nails stronger and your hair grow faster. All right, well, but they could do more harm than good. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez is looking into it. She's here with what you need to know. That's right. I talked to a doctor about this. She says prenatal vitamins provide critical nutrients your body needs before pregnancy, but women taking them before planning for a baby may be at risk for a rare undetected health problem. Many women believe that taking prenatal vitamins while planning to get pregnant or not will help grow beautiful hair, nails, and more of what your body must need, right? Wrong. It's a little bit of a misconception and may not make that much of a difference. In fact, take vitamin A, for example, which tends to be higher in prenatal vitamins. Taking too much of this in extreme cases could lead to liver damage. Prenatal vitamins or any other vitamin supplement, actually, you kind of want to look at how much of each vitamin is in each one. Another risk of taking prenatal vitamins is that it can mask a B12 deficiency. According to the National Institutes of Health, folic acid can hide symptoms of a type of anemia that leads to neurological disorders, which means people who don't know they have it and consume too much folic acid may never get a diagnosis, and that could allow the disease to progress without treatment. Otherwise, doctors absolutely recommend women of childbearing age to consider the possibility of getting pregnant when choosing vitamins. I would definitely recommend taking prenatal vitamins. Um, if you're on regular birth control, you can take just a regular multivitamin. She says she looks for calcium and iron in women's vitamins, which tend to be higher in regular vitamins. And if you're trying to conceive, aim for about 400 micrograms of folic acid or more, which is what you find in prenatal vitamins. If you do not have a specific illness, she says there is no harm in taking prenatal vitamins. It would just be harmful if you do not know that you have that B12 deficiency. Now, several of you are sharing your stories of taking prenatal vitamins on our KPRC Facebook page. I shared it on my page as well. Yeah. Judy says she uses them for restless leg syndrome, but says they did cause her to have kidney oh, stones. Oh, wow. Another viewer said the same thing happened to her. And while several others say they took them with no side effects, best advice is to talk with your doctor about it beforehand. Talk to them about everything. I mean, people forget to mention prescriptions. Yes. Yeah. They want prescriptions and non-prescriptions disclosed to your doctors. Yeah, so that's it. good information because I always feel like, well, if it's this good for you when you're carrying a baby, yep, just keep it. Right? Yeah. They actually yeah. talked to guys who said they did this too because they just want the extra of whatever the prenatal yeah. vitamins have when it specifically has extra folic acid, extra iron, things like that that you need when you're planning for a baby. All right, thanks a lot, Haley. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. and today we're talking about heat folks. So it is going to be another hot day. We're looking at a pretty hot weekend, but we're going to start to see some slight improvements. We have a front on the way. So there's a live look downtown. We have partly cloudy skies. Uh, we're